Hi everybody! I know it's been a while since I made a video. Um, I got a new camera and um, I got some new editing software so I'm very very excited to start putting up videos here regularly but today I'm going to do a very quick video for you um, on how I just do my everyday makeup. Some of you have asked about it so I thought I'd do a video on it. So if you're interested in learning how I do my everyday makeup routine, stay tuned. So to get started I'm going to take my foundation and I'm gonna just put it in between my hands and warm it up a little bit and just add that all over my face. Now I typically um, when I do my makeup I pull my hair back with a clip out of the way and, um, and I know a lot of people like to use foundation brush but for me the easiest way to put on my foundation <laughs> is with my hands. I feel like I have more control over it. So next I'm gonna add a little concealer under my eyes. I tend to use my concealer as a bit of a highlighter as well so I kinda get a two for one deal going on <laughs> and uh, so then I just take it and uh, put it on in a V formation and now I'm taking my little uh, blender that I got at CVS and I'm just going to kind of pat that in. That does give a little highlight um, on my cheekbone. I also take it up in on my eye as a kind of um, eyeshadow primer in a way and then I always make sure I hit those the corners of my the inner corners of my eyes because I do have some darkness there as well as under my eyes. Now I'm just going to take a loose powder from CoverGirl and a Real, Techni Real Techniques brush and I'm just going to take that powder all over my face down my neck just to seal in that foundation and concealer so it doesn't go anywhere. Okay next what I'm going to do is I'm just taking some bronzer and just doing some slight contouring. Um, I know this is not the appropriate brush I need to be using. It's a bare minerals brush, but at the time, it is all I had to work with. So I'm going to take that along my chin line, my jaw line as well. Just adding some color. Next, thing I'm going to take the, um, a blush and just over the apples of my cheeks kind of upwards back towards my ears just to add a little bit more color and now that my face is pretty much done I'm taking a brown color from my palette and just filling in my eyebrows this palette is from elf and as you can see it's got a whole lot of love but I'm trying to use up my um, eyeshadow palettes before I buy another one so now I'm just taking um, this light pink color it does have a bit of a shimmer to it it's not quite matte from the e.l.f. palette as you can see here in just a flat brush eyeshadow brush um, this one I got in an ipsy bag and I just love that the color is pink so now I'm going to take this brush from crown and I'm going to use the fluffier end it is a two in uh, two ended brush so I'm just going to take this color it's kind of taupey kind of grayish brown and I'm just going to put that in the crease of my eye and also kind of smoke it out towards the end. There's that color that you see there. Really, really pretty color. This palette has a lot of neutrals. And I believe it came out in a kit that had a bunch of things for fall in it. So I'm not sure if it's still available or not, but definitely check it out. I just love Elf's eyeshadow palettes. Now I'm going to take a uh, darker color and go in with into my crease with it. And then also smoke it out on that outer V. As you can see, it's a darker color. It's kind of a mixture of a dark purple and some browns. Um, and we're just going to add some dimension into that crease a little bit and to bring it back into the outer corner of your eye. So now I've got some eyeliner from Maybelline that I'm just adding in. Um, every so often, um, I decided to do a little bit of a cat eye, but if we're keeping it basic, um, I just try to do a very thin line as possible and take it out to my outer lash line. So now I've got some mascara from Tarte. I believe this one is Lights Camera Lashes. It's not the flash, oh, it's either flashes or lashes, one or the other. I have fallen in love with this mascara, so if you're not giving it a try, definitely check it out. It is worth the purchase. So, last but not least, I'm going to 
absolutely you know, as lip balm. I do tend to do lip liner sometimes with lipstick, but we're just keeping it simple today, folks, and so chapstick is the way to go, and I love EOS. It's either a tie between EOS or Burt's Bees. So here's a close-up of the eyes and the makeup. Ta-da! Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye!